Hi everyone, Dr. Susan Brown, and I want to talk about an interesting topic. I want to ask, is weight a friend or an enemy of bone health? Now, most of us were thinking, yeah, yeah, we know that people have bigger weight, have to be stronger, they have stronger bones generally because they have to carry a lot of weight. Every day, we show the bones through every step that they have to be strong. And we know also, if you've followed my work, you've heard that thin people, people who are small and have small bone structure, small weight, they actually are more vulnerable to fracture because the bones don't develop as much strength many times, the strength through carrying heavy weights. But what I want to talk about today is this interesting effect of gravity on bone. We think of weight-bearing exercises, lifting weights or doing strenuous activity, but just standing in this world, just moving in this world, in this earth, we are influenced by gravity. Gravity pushes us down, so to speak, and it takes a certain strength to hold yourself up against gravity. And as a matter of fact, you've probably heard, if you were gravity free, you would lose a lot of bone. Like it's very interesting. You can be gravity free in bed rest. How many people have been put in bed and the doctor says, don't move about. If you're in bed for one week, you will lose 1% of your bone mass, at least 1% of your spinal bone mass. And if you were, because you're gravity free, because you're not having to work against gravity, you're not having to build your bone strength to confront gravity. And if you were to travel to Mars and back, which will take anywhere from 400 to 600 days, you will lose 22% of your bone mass because when you're without gravity for that long of a period of time, you lose a lot of bone. And now they also know you lose a large percentage of your heart muscle and muscle mass because muscle also develops as we work to keep this body active and upright in the face of gravity. And so dis disuse osteoporosis is the extreme kind of lack of exercise. We can almost think of the extreme couch potato, but you're laying down a lot of the day. So remember that if we get into disuse, bone will suffer. And if you're in big time disuse, like you have surgery, you can't get up, you want to do everything possible to stay well nourished. In fact, I'll be writing a bit on what you can do to protect yourself if you have to get in bed rest because you lose a lot of muscle and a lot of bone. Those of us that are lucky enough to be able to stand up to gravity and, and be active all day long, we should take advantage. We should thank gravity because it forces us to be strong and enjoy our life here on this planet. Enjoy the physical body. Be active. Our bones will really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day and we'll talk soon.